welcome everyone to Juno Switch just to comment you guys so you know uh, I love food and I'm quite sure you love food too so as a result of that we're gonna react to a video entitled Thai breakfast foreigners try so basically it's a video where foreigners actually try out the Thai breakfast or what else what else would be considered a normal breakfast in Thailand of course I'll be more than happy to react to this video request that was sent to me of course don't forget to subscribe to Juno Switch just comment you like us on Facebook follow us on Twitter if you would like me to react to a video don't forget to leave a comment below and ensure that you press the bell next to the word subscribe so that I could be you could be notified sorry when I upload a new video thank you so very much let's go ahead let's see so pork chong kong so first breakfast dish pork? is porridge but this porridge differs a lot from our european it's one a pork because it's savory instead of sweet and you got meat and liver and egg in it really that's different, <laughs> different from the things we eat in europe oh my gosh because we usually serve it with fruits like banana, mm -hmm. blackberry, a meaty porridge. Seaweed, that is interesting. Stuff like this. I've we never do it like with meat. meat. Oh gosh. Let me see the face. You feel the spice? Mm-hmm. Spice. Oh, Thai yeah. loves spice. Yeah. Ginger. ginger is good to have in your meal, of course. Mm. It actually looks very similar to Chinese breakfast, especially Cantonese. Wow. But this one is very special because they have like some topping on the porridge. And so why do they call the porridge if it have meat? How do you like it? Oh my god. I mean like I tried like Magi the Ma like Magica? That's like, not that name. I'll try mm -hmm. with some meat. Mm -hmm. I mean it's definitely new for me. <laughs> meat. They don't have a lot. I will admit that. You know, they don't have a lot of energy. <laughs> I'm mm -hmm. not sure. <laughs> yeah, I can. I can definitely imagine I do this one for myself at home. Wow, so is it mid? Maybe not at breakfast, but like a little bit later breakfast. For lunch, lunch, yes. Kind of thing. Because it fills you up, it tastes great, it's healthy. But I don't think it should be called a Maybe porridge. Is liver, it, does it have milk? It's not I easy love to prepare for me, I think. But with egg and like that spice, that pepper spice. Well, so that. don't call it porridge then. Is it so far can be called a porridge, can it? Looks like they enjoyed it. Oh. Overall, what do you, did you like it or I not? think they loved it. I like it. <laughs> <coughs> I'm already like getting used to it since I was young. I must so admit, yeah, that yeah it's, it's not a very energetic video. Exercise. I guess they just well, enjoy the meal, but you know, if I was there, I'd be like, oh my god, that is awesome! Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'm the kind of person that oh. usually if I go for breakfast, I would choose like maybe something sweet. Yeah, that's what I was and thinking. And if not sweet, there would be like maybe like boiled egg. Like sandwich so of course if there's a video on how this is made like leave a comment below i will try my best to react to something like this is pretty new to me to be honest a meat porridge I mean, it's <laughs> nice to try but i don't know if i'll be like get to use to it that much uh -huh. to eat it myself like each day all the time for breakfast well obviously you you change it around you mix it up a bit oh this looks nice grilled oh this looks nice that's for breakfast though kind of grilled meat sticks for breakfast, I would think this is for like lunch belly, belly or, 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 or dinner. Not breakfast. It's really sticky. <laughs> I would not think this is would be like for I breakfast. Need to like really like so here's the rice. Yeah, the rice is good. Wow, this looks like it's for dinner or lunch, not breakfast. Mm. <laughs> is it a norm in Thailand to eat mm. a heavy meal? The first meal of the day is to be very heavy, because normally in my country, it Dominica, kind of you like have a light know, meal. Day. Not really a light meal, but you have something with tea and bread and egg or ham or, or, or bacon or peanut butter. Something like for breakfast, not rice, usually. <laughs> that is not a common thing. When you hear rice, you only think of lunch or dinner. Mm. They are not really active much, I must admit. Like, I'm, not, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah, I can eat that all day for real. It's like <laughs> one of my favorite things to eat, like grilled meat. What can be better than that? <laughs> wow. So I actually ri like the sticky rice. Mm -hmm. I like the texture of it. I it think they need something. It's so sweet, I think like for them, or like they maybe I need like what? a very sugary. I like the taste um, of it. But the meat meal in general, they don't have a lot like of energy. Lot of I'm just saying, like yeah. you know, like maybe I'm not the <laughs> that's the first video I'm reacting to, and there's not a lot of energy at all. I think about you. Yeah. I guess it's their personality. Uh, <laughs> I just yeah, feel like we're in gas to react into this video. There's not a lot of energy. Like fat and the sticky rice. An expression like 
they're very monotone and speaking like this, you know what I mean? The expression is not there. can be very good to combine together for breakfast. But maybe it will be too heavy to have like the meat for breakfast. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah. type of meat, I would maybe, if I would choose it, then I would For like, yeah, lunch. lunch. Yes, that's correct. Or like some like more like later in the day, like more main. Yeah, that's what I'm asking. Is it a common thing in Thailand to eat a heavy breakfast? Like a breakfast, breakfast. Yeah. Breakfast is usually a tea, something to yeah. but it's like start of the week. <laughs> like the breakfast I'm used to have. Soy milk with fried breadstick. Well, that is maybe a more common thing for breakfast. It's not. Oh, oh, no, it's sweet. I, <laughs> I was about to say it's not that sweet, but actually it is sweet. Something yeah, like something like, like that would be sure. uh, breakfast style. Milk or breadstick and or something I also like have that. Those kind of things. Breadstick. It's like fried dough. Fried I dough. <laughs> I just dip it in. Maybe it's not the correct way. <laughs> I don't think it's the correct way, bro. Oh. Maybe it is there. Then again, he's eating from a bowl. He's drinking soy from a bowl. But there's some like jello inside of the soup, right? What is it? I'm telling you, the expressions are not there. This one I like. Is it a side donut for you? Mm hmm. <laughs> oh my god. I guys, I'm just being totally honest. The energy I'm not seeing there. You know what I mean? I'm not seeing the energy. Oh my gosh, I'm a little excited to have the have breakfast. What? <laughs> Yo, the energy is not there. Most fried dough thing, it tastes like donuts. But they also remind me on, on German Christmas market, we have a sweet. Oh my gosh. Which tastes essentially like this one, just with a little bit of powdered sugar on uh -huh. top. And yeah, it's probably my favorite German sweet. It's only around I'm not, Christmas Well, time. I think I know why. So this reminds me of home a lot, actually. It is said that Brits or Europeans yeah, are not like all that like energetic compared this to Americans. Okay, you know, if it was American here yeah, reacting to this food. Okay, but this one is like Expressive, a lot loud. <laughs> And these two young ladies, like looks, one yeah. looks Spanish, kind of it, um, Italian, Latino, and then another Chinese, Japanese. I like the soy milk. Oh my gosh. Actually, soy milk is much, um, like much healthier than you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Soy milk, yeah, I understand it's much healthier, although I've never tried it. But this one, I like it, and it tastes like really like this corn flour sticks they they really taste really like alike dough, to donuts uh, ooh puck blood soup oh my puck blood soup it's not all that bloody this is also still breakfast <laughs> oh my god it is so it looks like broth, some kind of yeah. broth with a lot, a lot of, of meat, meat. <laughs> this one's probably liver i like liver a lot do you know what it's like a broth yeah this one is seem to be liver? providing more energy yeah. from them what is it? i find they're more expressive here size. It looks like meat, right? Or something else, but it's actually, it's actually blood. Huh? <laughs> like, like... Have you ever tried blood? Before? Boiled blood? How is it? You haven't, right? Having that ship. I heard of... Like we have some... Blood from the pig. So <laughs> how did they get it in that form? Like, in Dominica, we have something called black pudding, yeah. where you take the blood <laughs> and you put in the intestine. Yeah, that actually intestine yeah. for the waste, but you clean it out and you use the same intestine to put the blood the with seasoned blood, and then you cook it. It's called like black one of pudding. The components are those brown blocks here, which are blood, pig's blood. I don't know exactly how they. That's what I'm saying. I ate it before and I like it. it Remind me actually of liver, the color and texture. Wow. Mm. Well, heck, they are in a very peaceful area because I'm not hearing not a pin drop in the it's background. Nice. Very quiet. Very yeah. It's very light and fresh. Yeah. Not too heavy. Good to have it for breakfast, actually. But the blood? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. How does it taste like? Oh, hard to... Just try it. try it. I actually like eating those things with spice. Yeah, I noticed that yeah, it is better. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Let me see the expression. Now you're seeing some facial expression. <laughs> mm. <laughs> but this one 
this one is actually very fresh and I didn't taste any weird you know mm, taste from the blood how do you like it mm. it's like more smooth jello type of liver well then it's not liver it's blood I wouldn't eat this for breakfast to be honest it's a little bit Ooh, too heavy so he's saying savvy there that good for, said it's yeah, not heavy in the evening that would be a good time to eat that and especially in winter at home, <laughs> I can imagine. Yeah. Warming up you. Like fills you up, warms <laughs> you up. Good day. Maybe another <laughs> one. These are like, you don't get them in Europe, so <laughs> I eat some of those because it's, I like them and I should eat them for as long as I I, I believe so too. Mm. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I like it. It reminds me of the soup that I remember from. Where's she from? I wish she would mention but something. Why is that? She's in California. Maybe she's from California. Don't sure. I would like for the middle Wait, of the day. Wait, is she American? Day, she's very she calm for like American. My day with something like this. For this, uh, for me, this one can be uh, like also breakfast for uh, for Chinese people, but. Uh, maybe we would like to add some <coughs> like pho or yeah, noodles. noodles Chinese and Japanese has noodles. For, <laughs> for a long time. Yeah. But it's very good for me. Like the first thing you notice, of course, when you're from Europe and you go to Thailand, that breakfast here is mostly savory, which yes. is a good thing because. That means, yeah, so that's what I was going to say. That means the diabetes is not a very and I like um, these kind critical. Of because they fill um, you up. Like you're in less in Thailand, I don't know, nine in the morning, and you're Thailand or Thai love spice two p.m. or something. I'm, so I'm not going to say that they love a lot of sweetness. The soup, I don't know exactly what it was soy milk soup. It was the soy milk one was okay, good, but for my taste, a tiny bit. Oh, really? But I like a lot though. <laughs> I already because I said things. that those were like probably also sweet, but I like those sweet ones. Wow. As I said, uh, the, the, the energy was not as I expected. They were not all that energetic. Nonetheless, it was a good video that you guys requested. Of course, Thai breakfast foreigners try. Um, yeah, I, I love the, the one I love the most uh, was oh, the one I'm more familiar with is the breadstick and the, the soy milk. It reminds me more of a common Caribbean meal where you have milk and bread. You know what I mean? So I have for breakfast. Uh, the, 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 the the pig's blood, as I said, we've got some in Dominica called black pudding. Um, so it's something like, but we wouldn't really eat it for breakfast. Um, but I would not really eat it for breakfast. I'm not sure for the rest. Um, the whole idea, the pork kong, kong ji, uh, the meat, the combination of meat, I'm not, that's not something that is common here. And I don't, I'm not quite sure why they call it a, a porridge. Perhaps I, I don't know. It's, I wouldn't want to not will not really call it a porridge. Nonetheless, guys, thank you so very much for requesting this video. Don't forget if you would like me to react to videos such as this, leave a comment below, of course. And as I said, what I noticed the most that they were not all energetic, and you maybe notice for yourself also. Thank you so very much. Bye, guys.